Praise the Lord, dear friend. I'm Thomas Manton IV, and I've been speaking about the power of relationships. I'm diving right into part five. Let me see if I can show you a little scenery here. Look at that. That's right in front of me. Well, there's more on the other side, but you get the idea, right? All right, back. Okay, so the Lord spoke to me today. Uh, I've been running all day in meetings and appointments, and I want to come with some more notes and things like that uh, in, in another session, uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day, but as long as I'll continue this, I have some other things from, from that. But the Lord spoke to me this powerful analogy. Listen to this one. He said, it's like you're driving a car, you're driving either like uh, uh, a Rolls Royce or a, what's the worst little car? A Yugo, <laughs> a three-cylinder little those old little things, or a Pinto, or some little Nissan Sunny, <laughs> or a B210, or a, or a little uh, old uh, Corolla. Yeah, so the difference between maybe flying in a Learjet versus flying in a prop plane, or just sitting in the back of the plane near the, near the bathroom that everybody's going to in the commercial plane when you can sit in luxury on your own thing. Now, now this is an analogy. Maybe like being on a yacht versus standing on the side of the shore at the boat dock looking at everyone else go out in their boats. Relationships are powerful. They're synergistic. They're procreative. They're uh, productive. They're purpose-creating. They're purpose, uh, uh, creating. They're purpose uh, manufacturing and, and, and manifesting. Yeah? And... Um, uh, the Lord spoke that to me, like, without relationships, here, here's the thing, if you're by yourself, which is really tragic, some people need the time alone because you need to process things, you need to think, uh, especially uh, meditative people, you know, sp spiritual people, anointed people, you need the time alone, but you need to be with a lot of people because that's where you learn, by asking questions, interrogating people, getting information, studying, learning, researching, let other people's brilliance, like, add to your deal. Without that, by yourself, you don't learn anything. So here's the thing. You don't want to always talk so much in a conference. The Power of Relationships, Volume 5. Here we go. The, you don't always want to talk so much in, uh, in, in, in a conversation because you don't learn anything. Uh, some people listen just long enough to you know, wait to the break point to dive in with something they want to say. That's immaturity. When you're mature, you could be quiet and listen and ask questions. And, and you don't feel the need to give your input all the time because you're not trying to impress anybody. I got to tell you something powerful that comes with maturity. And this is a different subject, but I'm going to throw it in right here because you need to hear this. To get to the point where you don't care what anybody else thinks, to get to the point where you don't uh, ponder and meditate so much on what other people think, is, is, is quite a place to get to. And it takes a long time. Oh, my, my, my. You know, you could listen to even someone who's gotten there, and you think you'd get it by listening to them, but you still don't get it. Isn't that sad? But I think the power of purpose, the power of your, you being in your, your purpose and your zone, the zone of glory and anointing that God has for you, to be walking in is where is where you begin to just get to the point where you just don't care, you know. You can even see someone that doesn't care, listen to someone that doesn't care, uh, let them tell you a hundred times they don't care. It's not that they don't care about things and people, of course they do, but they're talking about letting man's opinions get in the way of the purpose, because when you're a powerful person, there'll be attention to you from all spheres. Of, of existence in the earth and some of it not good and uh, you know when you go through enough of that you're just like you know what nothing is going to stop me on my mission okay so you got to get to that point now here's another thing the power of quality relationships to help you in something listen to me will help you get things done that you never would have gotten done uh, by yourself you would have just stayed proliferating the same position that you've had. Although you've had a desire 
to go higher, but you didn't have the people to help you mix, mix, the, mix the, the cake dough and make the cake. And that's sad. God said always he wanted things to be by two. Jesus sent them out two by two. He sent the 70 out, 30, 35 by two. He, uh, he had the 12 apostles, okay? He had several women working in the ministry and helping. He had, he had you know, all this going on, and, and he had relationships with people, and he, he even went to confront and even learn, try to learn from or just also to teach and rebuke those uh, Pharisees, you know? And Sadducees, because they were sad, you see. They were just just wicked, wicked religious type people. And he interacted with all of them, you know. Paul, even in, in the book of Acts, we were reading, I was reading, the, uh, the, the anointing came upon him, yeah. And he had to get more prolific in presenting the power of God and proving that Jesus was the Messiah. And that had to do with his interaction with people. And um, people, 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 people. I can say it a thousand times. I can't say it enough. God made the animals go two by two onto the Noah's Ark to save them that they procreate. God made male and female. Male and female, he created he them. Boy, the focus on this camera. Anyway, I'm looking at it. But the, uh, and he kept... Uh, them two by two. He even said it's not good for man to be alone. I'll make a help meet for him. The help meet helped create everything. The things you lose when you're single, single people, get over it. I hope you, I hope you can adjust yourself and uh, get... Oh, the sun is going off. The sun is going. I wish it was out a little more, but we're at that time. Uh, and you'll just begin to get into a purpose-filled relationship. A lot of us have heard God speak about it, and uh, a lot of people have had prophecies given to them about it. A lot of people have had desires to have it. Well, the, the dream has to be fulfilled after a while, but the most important thing is that the relationship is procreative. So the power of a relationship and having relationships where other people are interacting and bringing things to the table and causing production to happen Will, will cause you to be like if you were to want, say, I want to pick a car, the one that costs 600000 or one that costs uh, 1000 that's going to break and fall apart and cause you to look like a, a blooming embarrassment to the kingdom of God because you're driving such a piece of junk, you know. Uh, I don't know. Poverty kind of matches itself with junk, yeah? And you definitely don't want to be... Uh, Driving junk, living junk, wearing junk, being junk, junked. You're junked, junked up. You don't want to be junked up. You want to be trumped up. You want to be trumpeted up. You want to be uh, uplifted and elevated. So important. Father, in Jesus' name, I think I have to turn the lights on here. So I just wanted to say that quick revelation. I'll, 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 of course, I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll come back at you uh, again in the next segment. So don't worry that we're just here for a few moments. But you needed to hear that. The power of relationship. That's the missing... That is the missing thing that you uh, ha have been longing for something, to see something happen and fulfilled. But it hasn't been fulfilled yet. There's somebody that has the brilliance and the talent and the skill and the anointing and the wherewithal to help you. Uh, get something done and it's not going to happen listen to me it's not going to happen you by yourself you'll just keep perpetuating the same next day next day next week next month next year and it still didn't get done there are people assigned to do the work and the things that you need and the things you need help with and you must find them and they must find you that's where we're at right now and if you stay by yourself or just with one or two that are unskilled and, you know, don't have that level of brilliance, you can't make it. Now, you, here's another thing. You have to pursue relationships. You have to go after it. You have to desire. Uh, and you say, I got to get what I desire. I don't care anymore. I've got to ask. Ask, seek, and knock. Okay? It's also in the power of birthing and connecting with people and building relationships that are procreative and pro 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 productive yeah pro-productive 
provisional, pro, pro division, and uh, purpose, purposeful. You have to go after them, and you have to get to the point where I just don't. Here's the, here's the thing about the I don't care zone anymore. You can humble yourself and get humble and ask for help when you really, really get desperate. Until then, your own pride and ego and self-sufficiency, whatever, and you don't want anybody to think maybe you don't have it all together in every area. Come on. And you're going to have to open up to somebody. Not about everything. You don't want to be foolish. But in an area that you need help in, you know, the staff, you pay staff, you hook up with staff because you, you staff your weakness, as it's been said. You, you, you hire based on someone to be able to perform the thing that you definitely cannot do yourself. And this is crucial and critical for success to happen in your life. So, so uh, relationships, my friend, relationships, 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 people, 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 people. And uh, Father, we just command that the wealth of that comes into being and into fruition in, in our lives, in my life, in your life, you that are watching. And Lord, you have all of these things, all these people on the chessboard. We don't want to make any negative confession. We don't want to stop the progress from flowing. We don't want to say, well, it's been like this, so maybe it'll stay like that. No, we need to speak because Mark eleven twenty three said, you'll have what you say. He didn't just say, we'll have what you pray. The next verse talked about pray. When you pray for the things you desire, believe you'll receive them, okay? And then you'll have them. But the verse before that beat it. Can you imagine? Uh, 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 Mark eleven twenty two said, "Have faith. Have the faith of God. The Zoe kind of faith. The Zoe God kind of life, faith." And then uh, the next verse said, "You'll have what you say." And then the next verse, twenty fourth verse, Mark eleven twenty four said, "What you pray, believe and desire, and you can have it." John fifteen seven also said, and 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 Mark eleven uh, twenty five is a real another hindrance in regard of birthing relationships. Some people can't trust somebody because you were hurt before. Well, you got to get over it. You got to get past it. And you just get smart about who, what levels you can trust that. Because some, some was foolishness on the part of the person that got done in a bad way because they trusted too much and they went beyond the line of wisdom. And, you know, you learn from those things. And next time you know what to do. But you always have to work with people. So don't be too afraid to tell someone your need uh, okay, and also if you've been done bad, Mark eleven twenty five says, you have to forgive. If you have aught with anybody or anybody with you, I mean you with them, forgive them. Let them go because it heals you. It releases you from, from the problem. Forgiveness is a gift from God to us. It doesn't, it doesn't release the offender from their guilt, but it releases you from what they did. It keeps them from having space in your head. It keeps them from causing you to be filled with bitterness, ripping your, your heart and your head apart with bitterness, which causes physical ailments and all that. People can decline in their health because they got a broken spirit. It dries the bones. It causes stiffness. It causes inflammation. It causes uh, stress and deterioration in the health. And we definitely don't want that, right? We definitely don't want any of that. So... Uh, make sure to forgive and fo and forget the best you can. And the best revenge is success. You got you have to learn the keys of success, and other people can also teach you that. So also, I'm going to go to reprint with my books on successful living, and also my book on the laws of success, and also the benefits of excellence, and also several others that we're writing. And a few we'll be able to put out very quickly because we're going to reprint. We, we printed thousands of copies. They're all sold out, which is a problem. But it's some, some people say it's a good problem. But I'm, I'm like, yeah, good, good problem, but it's still a problem. We need, we need to be able to get them out to people now. So again, there's somebody that has the key and the ability and the grace and the brilliance and the knowledge and the skill level to, to do that for me. And for this ministry, Dominion, that they can get our, our help, help get our books out to, to the masses, okay? I can't do it myself. I think about it well, about every day. I think about it every day. If I didn't think about it one day, the next day surely it'll come to me again if I got too caught up in something. Always thinking about how to get, a, how to, how to get the word of the Lord and the wisdom of God 
and the brilliance of God's uh, revelation to people that help them succeed in life. And there are people that are going to cause that to become a reality. You might be someone to help, and you might, be, you might know someone that can help. Please, please, uh, we implore you by the, in the name of Jesus Christ to, we adjure you in the name of Jesus Christ to uh, uh, get on board and help us with that. And thank you for being my partner uh, in the ministry. I cannot believe God is the one who made brilliant people. He's the one that made you, me brilliant and you brilliant in the realm that you're brilliant in. And there are other people called to help. There are other people called to do. A great man of God said, uh, the longer, the further I go along, I realize that it's the efforts of many people that make things happen, not just the efforts of one or a few. And many people need to be involved. That's why, why did God call us an army? Why did he call us kings and priests? Which kings and priests are royalty in different realms and they have a lot of people like uh, working with them and under them and join with them and alongside of them so what makes us think that we're any different so I want to say flip on the noise maybe that's a New York expression flip off the noise flip on the noise step off with the noise of someone being alone I declare your days of being alone and lonely are coming to an end. You need relationships. You need new friends. Maybe the friends you've had, you've exhausted the season. Maybe there are a few that are good that need to stay and a few that need to go. Let it happen. God has more brilliant, more excellent people. And then here's the thing about, about relationships. When you see indifference, when you see any indifference coming, got to take that as a sign. You know, when people show you their interest level or not, believe them. Because that's where they're at. If they, you see that they don't care, don't try to make them care. If you want, think you, you need to impress somebody so they'll help you and they didn't really act like they care, don't bother with it. Just move on. Find another way. But the, the, the bottom line is this. You have to fulfill the mission of God. You, you have to uh, get, get on with it. You have to um, um, fulfill God's plan. And you need people to help you. And they also need your help. And there are people that need your help too. It's not just one way like a, for me, 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 you, 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 I, 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 us, us, us. But it's also, we're, we're called also to be a blessing to people, to help people. The relationship is with us. I've been talking about that. There's a different flow today. You see how each, each part has a different expression. And this will all be in a book after a, a short while. Uh, in different chapters, but you see how it's very different today than yesterday, and yesterday different than the day before, because there's different parts of this whole this whole equation, different formulations to the whole equation. And um, I was talking about the anointed, you know, the connection with the anointing. I feel a different kind of anointing, a different kind of flow in this today than, than I did yesterday and the day before, you see? And the Lord is uh, very clear about um, our connection with the anointing is going to produce like a do not a dynamite, dunamis, do, do, a dynamic, combustive kaboom of, of revelation and blessing. And we need that. And you need that. And I need that. We all need that. And I'm here for you. I'm here to see it happen. So I was, I was saying thank you for being my partner. You can do that on thomasmanton.com. In Kenya, the M-Pesa number is 0792-320-780. And there's also Cash App, which is dollar sign DR, short for Dr. DR, dollar sign DR Thomas Manton. But uh, anywhere in the world by card, you can easily go in and connect and donate by going on to thomasmanton.com. And the Lord will begin to give you a harvest in the area of new breakthrough and breakout and new breakthrough realms of connection with people that are really going to help you new open doors fulfillments of the desires of your heart a thousand times more i've been saying that the lord teaching you to profit deuteronomy 111 and also isaiah 1 uh, 11 uh, uh, isaiah 48 17 the lord will teach you to profit and also Deuteronomy 111, God will make you a thousand times more. And he's going to do that through people also. 
Whenever God wants to bless you, he sends a person to your life. Whenever the devil wants to mess you up, he sends the wrong person in your way. But we need to always skip, uh, discern and skip around those and connect with the good people. So I declare prophetically as God's servant, I tell you this, that God is going to open up new arenas of new friendships and new relationships, pro probably uh, and definitely even people you've not known before. That'll be some of the best people you've ever had in your life. And there are some people that you know now that are good. Stick with it. And a lot of them need to drop off because they're not showing you any love in the realm of interest to help you fulfill what God has ordained. So this is the word of the Lord to people. A lot of people are going to be blessed by this word. You, because I'm declaring that it'll happen. The angels will go. The Holy Spirit will go and make this reality. There are some people you need to not take any more time with. They need to go exit out. Bye bye. Because there's no productivity there. There's no spark of combustion. There's no chemical. There's no chemistry. There's no chemical reaction. There's no procreation of work and purpose and fulfillment for success. And, uh, you know, financial breakthrough and abundance and transactions and commerce and trade and closing of, of deals and partnership and connection and things that bring money you know it just uh you just have to understand that god is god is the author of good relationships god is the author and finisher of your faith but he is the god of relate of relational excellence and abundance to help you succeed in this life in the very mission that god's called and ordained you to function in and fulfill and it will happen be encouraged i'm praying for you i'm praying deuteronomy 111 that god will bless you a thousand times more and raise you up and make you and give you a thousand more times friends favor help relationships connections and i'm praying that the lord will teach you to profit and lead you in the way you should go I'm praying and declaring that hidden treasures of darkness, even of darkness, even in the world, will begin to find you and come to you for the fulfillment of the purpose of God. I'm praying and declaring that uh, your health will spring forth speedily and you'll be healed and raised up and made whole and feel better. I'm praying that God will begin to cause his face to shine upon you, that you become more intimately connected with him. I'm praying and prophesying and declaring that the anointing of the Holy Ghost will come upon you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet and fill you to overflowing and give you the new blueprint and plan for the purpose that he has for your life and new inspiration, new excitement, new enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is a word that comes from, in the Greek, entheos, which means in God. So the word enthusiasm is a very powerful word. It comes from the, the vivaciousness of God. You're going to feel that. You're going to get more gre gregarious. G-R-E-G-A-R-I-O-U-S means that you become more people-oriented. You become more cool with people. Where you were shy and timid before, I break that fear. I break that thing off of your personality. And, and you're going to begin to be able to talk to people and interact with people. And, and more than anything, ask them questions, you know. Ask them questions and interrogate them and get them in the, uh, in the zone of, of giving you information and intel that you need to, to succeed. They'll help you. They'll help you. There are people there to help you. I declare it. They're here. There's 7 billion people on the planet. There's lots of people that can help you. You need to find them. You need to go after them. This is a very powerful message, isn't it? And God, yes it is. And God is going to cause it to happen. And this is the day now. when Where you've been lonely, you're going to be swimming in good friendships. Where you've been by yourself and not able to get enough done. God is going to begin to give you the people to love you and you to love them and the help and the friendship and the camaraderie and you're going to have people that are on the same mission my god i'm prophesying here you're going to have people on the same mission to, to help you fulfill they're going to see it like you see it they're going to catch a hold of it they're going to they're going to have that zeal from the lord that they can't even explain the zeal of your house the zeal of advancing your kingdom lord is is consuming me and and getting me on fire that i could begin to uh, uh, you know, really move forward to the next dimension where you've been stuck. God is breaking the forces of uh, wh however it happened. However it happened, God is breaking the forces of, 
of things that have kept you stuck and held you back and held you down and held you, kept you from moving forward. And I declare that anything that's caused you to feel any shame or sorrow or pain or bitterness or rejection or loneliness or depression, it's broken right now in Jesus' name. And you're going to rise up as a champion on top like you're, like you're the captain of the world, like you're the king of the world. You're a king under the king of kings. You're one of his kings. You're, you're, as, as a woman, you're one of his queens. You're one of his daughters. As a man, you're one of his sons. You're one of his giants. You're one of his ambassadors. And you, for the, for the ladies too, you are. Yes, you are. You're an emissary. You're an ambassador. You're, you're beautiful. You're wonderful. You're valuable. I declare it in Jesus' name. And I'm for you. God's for you. So who could be against you? And I'm for you. Who could be against you? I'm standing with you and I'm prophesying the grace of heaven over your life that something new is coming right now. You're going to see in this season the greatest outpouring of the Holy Ghost that you've ever known upon your life. It's going to be greater than anything that's happened before. It's going to be greater than what you've seen before. It's going to be greater than what you've come to, you know, to think of as normal. And that day is upon you, my friend. Oh, yes. That day is upon you now. In Jesus' name. The blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds no sorrow. The blessing of the Lord that gives comfort and, and empowerment and grace for you to, and br more brilliance and revelation and, you know, audible uh, and, and internal direction from him to chart your course out. He's the one that's going to give it. Your relationship with him. I'm going to do a whole chapter on that. And that'll be first or the last, probably the first, but the last will be first. I, I, I mean, it'll be because, because you and God are a majority. Increase by association comes from our increase because of our association with God. Let's never forget that. But I've been talking about people and relationships because he's ordained and anointed people. But there's one segment of his teaching that needs to, that, that'll come forth. Our connection with God and the intimacy of you and him face to face. Like Moses was his friend. Like Abraham was his friend. Like God spoke to Moses. Like, like a man would speak to his brother or friend face to face. And Abraham became the friend of God, you know. And Enoch walked with God. It was not for God took him. He was so caught up in God that, you know, he had that connection. So that's the first part of all of it. And you may think you know that, but you haven't, like, walked in it enough. I'm, I'm sure of it. There's always a greater dimension uh, 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 for, for your connection with him to be fulfilled. And I'm going to cover that in another, another volume of this teaching on the power of relationships. Today was volume five. And I'm, t I'm telling you this, my friend, be encouraged because the courageous one is with you. I'm courageous. I'm with you and I'm for you. And I'm praying for your success. And I'm praying for your breakthrough. And I know by the Holy Ghost, you're very encouraged by listening to this today. You are invincible. You are mighty. You are powerful. You are an impenetrable fortress. You are the anointed of God. You are the elected of Jehovah. The gift and talent that he's put in you is phenomenal. Beyond imagination. It's yours. You are that one. Don't, don't let anybody stand in your way and let you feel in any way inferior or uh, 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 wrong, like there's something wrong with you. You know, someone that portrays that to you, there's something wrong in the equation there. There's something better that God has. And the funny thing is, sometimes we're in the midst of many gifted people, but it doesn't always light and rock your world. You still need to have your, your own functionality and the level of expression that God's given you. Regardless of what church you're in, what relationships you're in, where you're at, there's still the reality that God has called, commissioned, and ordained you. He's called, commissioned, and ordained me. In 1986, in the last century, so I've been around a few minutes, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me in an open vision, laid his hands on my head and said, My son Thomas, I've ordained you as my prophet to the nations, and you will go, and you will, and many, many more things he said. And that was an open vision. That was a commission I had. I've been feeling, I was thinking about this yesterday. 
Well, I want to bring some dignity to, to the, about the prophetic office. I want to bring some understanding about the governmental realm of the prophet in the body of Christ. We're, we're a very high part of the echelon of the order. We're, we're number two in command under the, the apostle is the only one that would be above. And people misunderstand prophets and they think that this prophet thing is something else. And, and other people want to say, how do you call yourself a prophet? Well, if my name is Thomas and I say I'm Thomas, is that appropriate for me to say my name? My office and what I do and what God has called me and what he spoke to me and commissioned me to do? Is it okay that I say that? Of course it is. I don't have to say it. We just do it and function in it and it flows and everybody can know by the reality of the words coming to pass and also the procreative power of creation that comes in a new way from the voice of the prophet speaking under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. So we want to help a lot of people in the kingdom understand that. And there should be dignity to the office of the apostle, the office of the prophet, the office of the evangelist, the office of the pastor the office of the teacher and the other offices in the church, or governments, administrations and helps, and every other uh, type of functionality that the Holy Spirit wants to do. It's a beautiful thing. And woe to him that calls evil good and good evil. I think that's in Isaiah 520. You can't do that. Uh, so let's be, people need to be very careful, okay, to, to celebrate, to celebrate what, you know, God's own giftings and doings. And he, he ordains many people in the body as it pleases him. Not everyone has the same gift. But we're all benefiting by connecting together. And again, my friend, that's the power of relationship. So partner with me as my ministry partner on thomasmanton.com. Go there. You can sow a seed. You can donate. You can tithe. You can give. You can first fruit. You can donate. You can give. You can sow seed. And uh, in Kenya, again, the MPESA number is 0792320780. And uh, uh, I want to say something else. I'm very, very <sighs> zealous to promote the agenda that God has and to talk about it. And because of that, there's persecution and there's like uh, choking of the feeds and all that. Because of these liberal devils that... <laughs> don't want to see God moving, but we need to stand up for it. And in America, the election is coming up a week after next, on November 6th. Everyone needs to go out and vote correctly. And we know the party of choice that has all of the right policies. So find that ticket. It's the red color one. And just go right down the line and make sure that our House of Representatives and our U.S. Senate remain in the hands of the ones who have the best policies and not these other crazed people that want to help destroy the world. It's not time for that to happen. So people say, well, it's the last days. Aren't these bad things going to happen? Not on our watch. We still have our life to live, and it's not time yet. Let me tell you that as God's prophet. We live like he's coming today, of course, but he may not come for another while, but we, we certainly have crossed over into the last days. It seems apparent the way that things are going on in the world, but still there's time for us to live our life in peaceable, godly reality and manifestation. And the Lord is, uh, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. There's a lot left to do. So just part of your job is to destroy the works of the devil and not put up with his, his garbage and his foolishness. Don't allow evil people to dictate. So all of the, the church needs to rise up in the kingdom of God and go out and do the right thing, especially in the upcoming American election and make sure that uh, America stays on the right course because that's also touching the entire world. So we're not taking any garbage off the devil. Did you hear what I said? In Jesus' name. And you in your personal life can't. And I'm praying for you. Our relationship is causing breakthrough and change for you. Share this message. Share this. Share this. Share this with all your friends and people that you really care about. They need to hear this teaching and the other parts to it also. And I'll see you here on the next broadcast. I love you so much. I'm Thomas Manton IV, your success strategist at God's Prophet to the Nations. I thank God for his anointing. And I'm praying for you that the Lord will teach you to profit and lead you in the way you should go. And they'll raise you and make you a thousand times more in every area of your life to be blessed and to see his blessing and to taste and see that the Lord is good. That day's upon us. And now the people and 
places and events and situations that he's ordained relationally to help. They're coming forth in Jesus' name. I declare it as God's servant in Jesus' name. ThomasManton.com is the website. I'm Thomas Manton IV. I will see you again on the next broadcast. God bless you so abundantly. That's my prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.